Load growth over the last two years has been 10 gigawatts. If you think about the winter storm potential in ERCOT, we could see a, a winter peaking system very easily due to the, the heating demand, um, which is mostly electric in Texas. As we're getting more and more solar on the system, it's actually September, particularly early September, that can be the most critical period on the grid. One of the things that is just really important for valuation is you have to have a linked price and generation forecast. Coastal wind can get caught behind a transmission constraint. And sometimes it's generating when systems are tight, but it can't get out of the coast. And so you'll see you know, the coast at negative pricing while the rest of the state is in the thousands. Is there a point where continuous compounded 8% load growth is something that's going to cause ERCOT a little bit more pain point? 